Hi, it's Kata. Today, let's talk about the Haunted Beauty Barbie collection. So there aren't a whole lot of spooky Barbies out there. Yes, Mattel comes out with Halloween Barbies, I want to say every year, or at least there's a ton of Halloween Barbies out there and available, and they are cute. I wouldn't say they're spooky. Um, I definitely wouldn't call them gothy, but um, you know, I still want them. <laughs> Mostly for their outfits, because you can't deny those are some pretty cute dresses. However, when I discovered the Haunted Beauty collection from 2012 to 2015, ooh, now we're talking. Unfortunately, those dolls came out during a time when I wasn't collecting. I'm still a fairly new collector. I've only been collecting since spring of 2020. And the funny thing is, is that right when I started collecting, I wanted two things. I wanted my childhood Barbies, and I wanted Halloween themed Barbies. And I really wanted the Haunted Beauty Barbies. But here's the thing about the Haunted Beauty Barbie collection. I ain't never affording those. They are astronomically expensive. If you were to go try to find those dolls, which of course are not new, so you'll have to go to an auction site or some other place that sells dolls, they're going to be around $600, $800, dollars per doll. What? It's outrageous. From what I understand, and please correct me if I'm wrong, when the first one was released in 2012, they were pretty exclusive gold label Barbies. Actually, my friend Suzanne says that she remembers seeing them at the FAO Schwartz in Times Square, so apparently they were on shelves at one point. The Barbie Wiki lists them as originally retailing at $100 each, I think. And they were created by the fabulous Barbie designer, Bill Greening, who has done some amazing gold label Barbie dolls for Mattel. So it's no wonder that these dolls were so extraordinary. And little did we know that this would probably be the last time that Mattel released such incredibly gorgeous gold label Halloween Barbies. Psst, hey Mattel, bring back the Haunted Beauty collection. Like a re-release? Yes, please. So since I haven't been able to afford a single doll in the Haunted Beauty Barbie collection, I have decided to take four of my current Barbies in my Barbie collection with the Barbie wardrobe that I currently have now and make four of my own Haunted Beauty inspired Barbies as an homage to that collection. Spoiler alert, three of them turned out pretty cool. One of them's just okay. But do you wanna see them? Okay, here they are. The first one is the 2012 Haunted Beauty Ghost Barbie. This is a Barbie Looks doll, and she already had the long platinum hair and a really lovely face mold that looks, you know, somewhat serious. So she was perfect to make an inspired Haunted Beauty Ghost Barbie. I really wanted to do her hair in sort of the crimped, like, long tendrils that the original Haunted Beauty Barbie has. So I put strands of her hair in little mini braids but I didn't put it in hot enough water for it to really set, so when I took it out of the braids, they just kind of fell into relaxed tendrils, but that's okay, because look at how ethereal and just ghostly that hair looks. I actually kind of like the more flowy look that she has. This was some sort of Barbie fairy princess dress, I'm not sure. It did actually have like a little kind of, hmm, colorful pinkish rose right here that I took off to kind of tone down the playfulness of it a little bit. 
And then I added another fuller white Barbie skirt underneath it. I added these really long tendrils that's just like kind of creepy cloth. And of course, the chain makes it. The chain was actually really hard to do because I recently pared down all of my old jewelry and I had a ton of old necklaces with old chains and stuff that I got rid of. So trying to find chains in my jewelry box was actually really challenging. And not only that, but like this one, I'm gonna show you a little secret here. I didn't wanna take the pendant off of it. So fortunately, I was able to hide it behind her long hair and her like flowy garment. <laughs> That's kind of ghostly. A secret message on a ghost. Mm. I did also touch up her makeup a little bit. The Barbie Looks doll originally came with pretty subtle makeup. So I gave her darker lips, a little bit darker eye makeup. Did I do her eyebrows? No, I left her eyebrows as is, but look at that. How does it compare with the original? Not too shabby. Next, we have the 2013 Haunted Beauty inspired Vampire Barbie. in this doll. This is an Integrity Candy doll. She had lovely long, long black hair that just begged to be put into vampire Barbie hair with kind of the high bun and a braid around the top. These tendrils were really hard to like keep tendrily, so I have kind of attached them to the back of her outfit. You don't see that. <laughs> This dress was actually a holiday dress, like here's the back of it. And then I just draped some cascading kind of sheer fabric down the front to kind of cover the more like holiday looking bust there, which by the way, I had to tape up on this doll because she is quite busty and had a hard time. Like it doesn't close all the way in the back. Girl, I understand that. This also was a sash for a holiday Barbie and I poofed it up just so, so that it like comes up the high back neck thing that the original vampire Barbie has that looks so cool and so vampish. The high neck jewelry that the original Barbie has, I didn't have. So this is kind of the closest thing I could find as well as this. I don't know what this went to. I think a lot of these things came off of holiday Barbies. So tip if you wanna make your own. I did draw her eyebrows a little bit more stern and evil looking. And of course I had to add vampire fangs to her beautiful red lips. Not perfect. They're more of like a 10 footer, <laughs> but seriously, didn't this turn out great? I think so. Next we have the 2015 Haunted Beauty inspired Mistress of the Manor. Now this is the one that was a real challenge. Okay, clearly a lot of differences here. Let me count the ways. First of all, the dress of the original Haunted Beauty Mistress of the Manor doll, oh my goodness. That is one heck of a plum color. That is a color. And for the life of me, I could not find any Barbie clothes in my collection that was that color. And not only that, but that dress is so grand. 
Even all of my holiday dolls with their beautiful gowns did not have a dress like that, at least not one that was purple. So the best I could do was this really appropriate um, princess of the Portuguese empire, I think this dress comes from, a uh, gown that does sort of match, especially in the sleeve style and the long skirt but uh, still vastly different. Like if you put the two together, yeah, they both have that sort of Victorian kind of style to them, but you would be like, uh, those are two completely different dresses. Not even close. Well, a little close. <laughs> the original gown has a very cool high collar, and the closest I could get is this black gathered lace that actually was a veil, like a hat veil, to one of the Silkstone Barbies. And, um, yeah, don't look in the back. <laughs> but it looks really cool from the front. Kind of works a little bit. The original Mistress of the Manor also has, like, a cameo brooch. And one of the most frustrating parts for me with recreating that doll is that I actually have a Barbie size cameo brooch and I could not find it. It's so small and it wasn't with my jewelry the first place I looked and I could have looked forever in all of the Barbie stuff that I have, all of the little Barbie stuff that I have. And I did look for a long time and I could not find it. And so, Instead, it's this other sort of pendant that actually came from a Twilight doll. So it, it works okay. What did work pretty cool was the white streak in her hair. The original goes from front to back. Mine is from side to side because obviously I couldn't tuck it into her bangs the way the original looked so i had to uh, resort to a side white streak which i think looks pretty cool this is actually the thanksgiving barbie from the barbie fan club dolls back in the day which are also kind of outrageously expensive so this was sort of a grail doll for me that i really splurged on so what do i do i go and i undress her and i <laughs> turn her into another character, but that's okay. That's what I love about Barbies is that you can completely change their look. They don't have to be these static pieces of art. They can be, but it's also really fun to be very creative with them in ways that uh, give them new life. But anyway, PSA over. So she had the perfect hair bun for that doll. I had a candelabra, which clearly is not as nice as the Haunted Beauty ones, but still, it'll do. And then the Haunted Beauty original Barbie has a key ring with a bunch of old keys on it. And I did not have that at all. The closest thing I had was I had a Tiffany necklace with a key um, pendant on it. And it's the perfect Barbie size, isn't it? But I couldn't get it off of this chain, the necklace portion of it. Like it's meant to not come off the chain. So I just sort of like circled it around her wrist and let it hang with some chain hanging down on it, which actually it, it looks kind of cool. I also gave her longer earrings um, because I really liked how these looked. I did not change her makeup in any way. So she's sort of a um, very loosely inspired haunted beauty mistress of the manor. Lastly, we have the very last doll in this series, the 2015 Haunted Beauty Zombie Bride. turned out so good. I was so lucky to have a really similar dress to the original 
Haunted Beauty Zombie Bride. This dress belonged to, it might have even been a reproduction, one of the earlier wedding Barbies. I'm not sure, but it, it's perfect, except that it needed to be like way more gown-like. So I added another really full skirt underneath it. Um, and it does actually have like a back to it, but I feel like it adds to, you know, the zombie Barbie dress. This wedding dress did come with a very big veil, so I already had a veil, but then I even added more fabric to really create that extra large veil that the Haunted Beauty Zombie Bride has. And what's so perfect is that this doll was already blue. So this is a Fairytopia Barbie. The original Zombie Bride has more gray hair, but I mean, come on, that's pretty good. Her hair was not as curly um, anymore, um, especially when compared to the Zombie Bride. So I went ahead and curled it. And this was like my first really successful Barbie hair curl. So yay. I did that with like straws and pin curls and I dipped it in hot, hot water for like five minutes and then let it dry overnight. It came out really nice. She did have a rather innocent looking face, so I definitely added way more makeup to her, gave her darker brows, darker eye makeup. Um, her lips are naturally blue, which is perfect for a zombie. Even though the Haunted Beauty zombie has pink lips, and I did make her lips pink at first, but it just didn't look good. So I did go ahead and leave them blue, but I added some blood because the Haunted Beauty Barbie does have blood on her lips. It's a really subtle addition that I love. So that was really fun to add to this Fairytopia Barbie. That doll actually does have um, large puffy sleeves at the end of her longer sleeves. And I debated on if I wanted to add that, but I think it looks good just kind of behind the layers of her dress. Um, she does have a bouquet that's a rather normal looking bouquet, the original one. So hence the normal looking bouquet. Also um, a pendant pearl necklace that really is a super close match to the one that the Haunted Beauty Barbie has. Haunted Beauty Barbie's veil had more like blue roses up here, but I added those and I feel like they look great. So yeah, she turned out so good. I mean, add a large gown to a Barbie and all of a sudden she looks very expensive. <laughs> and after creating these, I realized that those Haunted Beauty Barbies are mostly all gown. <laughs> Definitely more challenging for displaying on the old bookshelf, but instant glamour. coming along with me today as I turn four ordinary Barbies into haunted beauty Barbies. Did I get it right? Which one do you like the best? For me, I think it's this one. Do you have any Barbies in your collection that you think you might try this with? Are there any other spooky Barbies that I should definitely find out about? And are they affordable? Or can I make my own? Let me know in the comments. I hope you're having a wonderful spooky season. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Now that is a specific color. That is plum like I've never seen plum. That she remembers seeing them at the, what was the start called? What was the start called? The one in big? You know where they dance on the piano keys? As nice as the haunted manor. I keep calling it haunted manor in the ha 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 <laughs> what's it called again the mom club the barbie fan club the internet was out in 2012 kata i don't know how people bought barbies period i i don't know